outside. I just see the city with the cheap block strainers. And we got adopted by some free war strangers. You know what it means when I twist these fingers. We ain't too being on a first name basis. It's me, Arden D, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. This is episode 2 of my 8 Sam Diary series. If you're new to my series, my major is Health Service Administration, so you know, 8 Sam. Yeah, but if you guys been here for a while, y'all know that I was a nursing major. Um, I just changed it to H Sam last semester, and we're currently in spring semester. My first episode of this series was at the end of last semester, so now I'm trying to bring it back. You know, we're in a new semester, starting fresh, stuff like that. So, basically, in this series, I'm just gonna take up with me along with like my um, major, everything regarding that, so all my classes, all the events. I have an internship. So we're going to get into that. I'm going to like take y'all with me to my internship, different stuff that I do regarding my major. So it's currently 8.51. I have class at 9.30. I have U.S. Health Systems at 9.30. Then I have um, Healthcare Management at 12.30. And then I have another class, but it's like online asynchronous. Um, it is health and wellness. Those are my three healthcare classes and my battery about to die. Hold on y'all. Okay, I'm back. But yeah, I have three healthcare classes, healthcare management, US health systems, and health and wellness. Um, so basically, throughout the whole series, I'm just gonna bring out with me through all those three classes, um, show y'all like what I'm doing, how I'm studying, what I'm learning, stuff like that. So I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, but I'm gonna try to you know include everything that I have planned to show y'all in today's video and then like as the semester goes on, you know, I'm gonna show y'all everything else. But I'm making this video right now because I have my first quiz of the semester on Thursday. I have two quizzes. I have one in healthcare management and I have one in US Health Systems. So I wanna like study with y'all, show I show y'all how I study and y'all just come with me through this journey of my H Sam diaries also i am a junior so you know i'm actually in my major now um so yeah also if y'all didn't know what like career i could do um i could be like in charge of the nurses and stuff like that so i also take accounting and in marketing but i'm not gonna get all into that class those classes because they're not healthcare related so but yeah that's it i'm about to go get some coffee and i'm gonna meet y'all in my U.S. Health Systems class. Which says that the quality of life cannot be that high if we have this much gun violence in the U.S. According to the FBI, in 2023, 40,000 people were killed in gun violence in the country. So for some, this makes nonsense of the U.S. quality of life. If you can live well with action when describing quality of life in America. What's your opinion? We describe the quality of life in the U.S. Should this be considered as a fact? Is it a negative to the quality of life in the country? What do you think? Anyone? Hey, y'all. So, I'm out of class. It's currently 11.51. And right now, I'm in the library in, like, a private study room. Um, I'm about to study for a little while. Right now, I'm about to like show y'all like how I study, um, what I use and everything like that. Um, I'll get more into depth with it like later on today. But first off, like to study well, to take notes in general, I use my iPad. This is a iPad Pro. And I got an Apple Pencil. And I use the um, app Notability to take my notes. Um, it's a good app. Um, you can like add your PowerPoint on the app. Um, you can like write on it, highlight stuff on it. Um, and then like here's some of my notes. Some of my notes. Um, so I color coordinate literally everything. Everything. Um, so while taking notes, 
I, um, it's not, but it's no specific color. I just choose random colors whenever I'm taking my notes. But I always have a highlight. Okay, so for example, say like I'm taking my notes, I will highlight like my key terms, important details in pink, and then I'll highlight like the subheading in blue, and I'll highlight examples in green. And then like, um, I think that's it. Oh, then like a term in like purple, something like that. So it can be organized so like when I'm looking back at my notes, I know like what is what and it makes sense in my head. So that's what I do. Um, I take notes off of PowerPoints um, for my healthcare management class and my healthcare, in my, in my health systems class. My teacher, he bolds like important stuff in the PowerPoint that we need to know. So I don't take notes on every single thing in the PowerPoint because I'm not about to write down every single thing and I don't need to know every single thing. Make sense? So I just um, take notes on the key points that he bolds and go from there. Okay, so then from there, I go to my computer and I make a Quizlet. So in the Quizlet, I just put down every single term and definition, a person's name, a year something was made, I put it in my Quizlet, okay? And then in Quizlet, I do the flashcards, and then the first thing I do is the learn option. This is also the free Quizlet version. I don't have the like the premium or pro version, but I low key may purchase that the premium version because it come with more, you know, things. But um yeah, but I do the learn option first and then I do like the flashcards and like a little test. So that helps me a lot. After that, I often say things out loud as you're studying, read out loud because it's good for your brain to remember what you're saying, especially if you constantly say something out loud. Yeah. And then also, I, um, what is it? On my iPad or on a whiteboard, I will write down everything I know. It's called active recall. Write down every single thing that I know. And then what I don't know, what I miss, I go on my t um, I go on my PowerPoint, look at what I miss, and go from there. Um, I read textbooks. I'm not a big fan of textbook reading, but I do it. Like if I want like background information on something, I'll go my textbook. That's really it though. I'm gonna show y'all like what I learned and stuff later on today because I have class like 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna see y'all later, but I just wanted to come in here and show y'all what I was doing, tell y'all how I study, and I'm gonna come back later and we'll show y'all like what I'm learning and stuff like that. So Hey y'all, so it's currently 8.53. It's been a couple hours since last time I talked to y'all. Um, but I'm about to start studying for my two quizzes that I have. Um, I have a quiz in health systems and healthcare management. Um, my teacher, he just sent over the study guides for both classes because I have the same teacher for both those classes, y'all. So he just sent the study guide over not that long ago. So I'm about to look at that and see what it is. He said that the quiz was a total of 13 questions and it's on chapter one and two for both classes. 13 questions on chapter one and two. He said multiple choice and true or false. So um, so as long as I like know the information and all of that, I should be fine. So, you know, I'm gonna put those study tips that I gave y'all earlier to use. And hopefully I understand everything because yeah, I'm aiming for AA, but um, you know, if I get a B, that's fine too. I am aiming for an A because I really want to get an A out of the class, and I just want to like tell y'all like what I'm currently learning. So, chapter one, the title is Major Characteristics of U.S. Healthcare Delivery. So, in this chapter, we really just went over the different like history of healthcare, um, the different states, what is healthcare, um, how is America's healthcare system like, the major components of the system, who controls the healthcare system, 
stuff like that we also go over like medicaid medicare um like the military their medical system how they do things um other states as well how they do things as well so that's really all chapter one was pretty much like the different kind of health care and public health the different laws um that's really it that's all that was in chapter one for um health systems and then chapter two for health systems was the title is the foundations of u.s health care delivery so the first one was characteristics of health care and then chapter two was foundations of health of health care so the chapter two was about the foundation you know obviously and then like the beliefs the values and health um what is health the different not the different illnesses but what is an illness or what is what is a disease what is an infectious disease um quality of life so yeah i'm about to start studying also but studying i use the pomodoro, pomodoro method different people do it differently um i do 25 minutes of studying non-stop and then i take a 10 minute break and then i keep doing that until i feel like i understand everything um some people do 30 minutes 15 minute break some people do 45 minutes 15 20 minute break it just depends on the person also while i'm studying i turn on lofi lo-fi music um i just go on apple music and search lofi music um where's the one that i use i just use this one the lofi chill i just press shuffle on it and it's like coffee shop instrumental music it's like it helps you focus and all that it's not like loud um i recommend not listening to music while you're studying that has lyrics um especially like you know like heavy beats rap hip-hop i mean if you can focus while listening to that props to you but i can't i need to have instrumental real soft music and it helps me understand and focus on what i'm doing so My quizzes are today. It's currently 8.40. So I'm about to head to the studio center to get me a macchiato a cold brew. I just need some energy. So I'm really tired, y'all. I don't know what that's about, but I'm real tired. So I'm about to go and get like some coffee or something. Um, and then after that, I'm going to head to class. But y'all, I feel very confident. Um, everything I know, I understand everything, and the teacher, he said that he's picking his 12 questions off of the study guide, and I knew all the answers off the study guide from all 20 questions, so, yeah, we hope for the best, I'm praying that I pass with an A, you know, so yeah, y'all pray for me in the comments, y'all tell me good luck in the comments, and all of that, um, and, and then I'm gonna come back and like, um, tell y'all how I feel like I did because the quiz is on paper so I won't know how I did until after he grades it but I'm gonna come back um after I take the quiz and tell y'all how I think I did so yeah hey y'all just ignore how I'm looking it's currently 408 and I told y'all I was gonna come back after my first quiz but after I got out of that first class I wanted to hurry up and study for my next quiz at 12 30 because my first class was from 9 30 to um 10 50 and then my next class was at 12 30 so i want to hurry up and review for my next quiz but y'all i think i got an a on both my quizzes <laughs> like i just feel it like y'all and y'all i literally read every single question like as i was getting the paper and y'all i think i got a 100 percent on both actually i feel like on my quiz for health systems i may have got one wrong but it was like a 
calculations type of problem and i really didn't go over that um but he did go over that before we took the quiz so i may have got it right i don't know um hopefully my teacher uploads the grades by like saturday night sunday morning because i want this video out by sunday afternoon so hopefully he do you know post the grades or whatever so that i can share with y'all my first quiz grade of the semester but if not just watch my weekly vlog that i'm currently filming this week as well that i'll be out next wednesday and i'll just update y'all on what my grades was hopefully he do upload the grades um before sunday so but yeah y'all i'm done with classes for today i spent in my bed watching tiktoks whatever um that's really it i'm gonna just see y'all whenever um i'm not going to end a video out just yet in case my teacher does upload the grades but if he don't by like saturday afternoon i'm gonna come back to this video and end the video out but you know but yeah y'all i feel very confident hope y'all enjoying this video though all this video really was was like study tips and, and, and me just preparing for my first quizzes next episodes of like this series will be more um you know more interactive more i guess exciting or whatever this was just like you know me getting ready for my first quiz of the semester so yeah i'm gonna see y'all when i see y'all hey y'all so i'm back um like three days later it's now wednesday um and i got my quiz grades back well i got my health care management quiz grade back because i was in health systems yesterday morning because of a whole nother reason but yeah, I got my healthcare management grade back. Here it is. And I got an 85%. I got a 21 out of 25. So, that's an 85. I only got two questions wrong. And each question was worth two points. So, <clears throat> yeah. But right now, I'm about to go to orientation for my internship. But that's not going to be in this video. It's just orientation, you know. But that's the end of today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my second episode of my HSAM Diary series. Stay tuned for the next one. Um, Go watch the first one if you haven't already. And, you know, just comment and let me know that y'all joined the series. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and all of that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.